Skyview is a place where you have friends and a home where you're always welcome. Coming to Skyview for a week is definitely a week that will change your life. My name is Brent Knoll. I'm the executive director at Skyview Ranch and I've been here for over a year, started in February of 2015. When I think about Skyview Ranch, the first thing that comes to my mind is relationships and the importance of relationships. And for me, that was lived out over 30 some years ago when I came to Skyview Ranch for the first time as a camper. Seeing the importance of relationships with not only my peers, but the counselor with all of us, that mattered to me, and it matters today. My name is Floyd Stanfo. I pastor Faith Baptist Church in Bolivar, Ohio, and we've been connected with Skyview Ranch uh, for uh, oh, probably 30 years. More and more people have come here and found Christ. More churches are finding the camp, and it uh, continues to grow and grow. We have seen a lot of kids get saved and make decisions of following the Lord here. I still have a heart for Skyview. My heart is here. I've been here most of my life, and, uh, and God has blessed me through the many ministers that I've met, the many mis missionaries I've met, the many young people, like I said, that have gone into the ministry in several different ways. When you think about a, a ministry that's uh, been here since 1969, there's a lot of uh, reinvestment in the property to make sure that it's adequate and sufficient for today, but also that ministry expansion. And that's what we're talking about is where you have a need of people coming. You want to be able to meet that need. You don't want to be able to turn away campers or adults in the ministries that are provided here. More housing is the, uh, the specific need right now because uh, really the past two years at Skyview Ranch we've seen uh, a tremendous growth in the ministry. It's been a great partnership uh, between the camp and the church. The, the camp strengthens what we're doing at the church. The church strengthens what the camp's doing. God uses not only the physical development, although it works because you can place more people in more room, but it also works in the fact that you can use the people that he brings to us through those that have been here to go out and reach others. At this crossroads, as the camp is full, we're thinking to the future. We're looking for people that would just come on board with us and be a part of the vision and the ministry and help us build this uh, next project, which will enable a lot of future campers to enjoy the impact of Skyview as well. We've identified an 80-bed uh, fourplex that would be able to m meet not only the needs now, uh, but the growing needs of the future as well um, for all age groups and all kinds of programming. We're hopeful uh, by the spring of 2017 to be able to break ground uh, for our first uh, hillside lodge. Uh, right now in the plans of working with an architect uh, uh, with those plans and, and the drawings and materials and then working with the development team on how we fund that, um, we need to, desperately need to have it now and uh, the funding available to be able to uh, get that project going and paid for. We still have the opportunity here at Skyview that we can still open the Word of God with our young people and our adults. That is one thing that thrills me about the future. And I'm praying and my prayer is that God will allow it to continue. You can only imagine how many church groups will be impacted by coming here and using the facilities. I want to ask you personally how you can be involved. And so for me, it it's becomes a personal question. Do I want to become a ministry partner with Skyview Ranch? 
You know the need, you've heard the need, and now how can you meet that need? We are very blessed in this country to have a place like Skyview where it can grow. And I believe with all my heart that God is in it. I just envision thousands of people whose lives will be changed because of the ongoing ministry of Skyview Ranch. We're about relationships and to pour into people's life, uh, to serve, to proclaim Christ Lord of all, to be able to continue that legacy of, of seeing God moving in ministries and God doing His work through His people. I want to be a part of that and I hope you want to be a part of that as well.